Nancy with Icon Apprentice and thanks for joining me again. I'm sorry I've been away for a while. I had some uh, family matters I had to attend to and so was not able to get back to this but we are now ready to start finishing up our Icon of St. Francis and uh, one of the things that we want to do is let's uh, we're going to be putting the letters on. Let me get my copy here. Uh, so we'll place our letters at the top here. We are also going to be outlining the flesh uh, and that's going to be, I'm going to use actually uh, red earth for uh, outlining the flesh. So we'll just be going around all of the major uh, features. We'll be doing that. We're also going to be putting our halo line in and I am going to be using a compass for that. And this is the compass that I bought. It is an Alvin basic bow, set number 505. And I don't know if you can see it or not. Eh, probably not, I'm trying to get you a nice shot. But anyway, it says at the bottom, uh, basic bow compass with ruling pen. And if you're out there searching for, for uh, a set, this is the type uh, that you wanna buy. This is actually from Germany. So it's an Alvin 505. You may even be able to find something like this on Amazon. Uh, but I don't think I paid a whole lot of money for this, maybe uh, eight or ten dollars. It does come with a regular compass. And it also comes with this nice ruling pen. Hopefully you can see that and you can see the gap in between where the paint goes. See that? See how that's open on the inside? And it goes right in the end of this pen. You push it in. And then what we do is whenever we draw the lines on the outside, we place a ruler and we fill this with paint and then we draw our line with that. And we'll also be using this tip uh, the ruling pen tip part is interchangeable in the compass and so when we put the compass in here and we put our paint in it and we can draw the halo line then using our uh, divot where we actually placed it before to actually draw the outside of our halo in. So those are some of the things that we're getting ready to do here and as always we will start with our prayer intentions and those that we intend to finish writing into our icon. So let us pray. With, let's go ahead and let's place our St. Francis at the top here. And to do that, we're going to need our line drawing and some transfer paper. So remember the transfer paper is shiny side up, dull side down. The first thing that we want to do is line this up with our drawing. Make sure we get our lines pretty close here. looks pretty good right there All right. and then you'll need a little bit of painters tape just throw that on the side just so that <clears throat> line drawings not moving while we're transferring our letters now once again we're going to uh, use our red pencil and the reason we use the red pencil is so that we know which we what we've outlined and what we have and what we've transferred down. So we'll go ahead and start transferring these letters.
All right, I like the way that looks. We're good to go. And you notice, I just lifted this up and looked at it without taking it completely off. I still have it taped down. And that's just in case, for some reason, I had my transfer paper upside down. I could still put this right back down because I knew I... I pretty much had this where I wanted it to be. So that's just one of the things that you learn as you go along because, uh, you know, you make that mistake, you take it all off, and then it wasn't right. So we're going to save this tape because we're going to reuse this when we do our ruling pin lines. And that is to tape off the edges so that we don't go past the edges when we run the paint out, you know, won't go out into the border. All right. The letters are going to be, uh, we're going to use the halo red uh, to do uh, the letters for the name. And we are going to be using Naples yellow hue to do the inside line borders. And we will use Indian Red Oxide then to do our outside border. And the outside border, as you can see from the color copy, is going to be just a very thin, uh, probably a quarter of an inch line uh, around uh, the edges here. And, uh, of course, on this edge as well. So let's go ahead and do our flush outlining to begin with. So we'll take our red earth and a little bit of flow medium it's about four or five drops. We don't need a whole lot. And gonna get our brush damp, put just a little bit of water in here. I don't want a whole lot. We just want this to be a nice creamy consistency. Not too thick, not too thin. And as you get more experienced with your painting, that will become more evident to you as we go along uh, how much you need. It's just honestly, it becomes a feel. It becomes a feeling. You just kind of know when you got it right. So we are going to be using our liner. And the brush liner I'm using uh, today is going to be a 2O, 2 slash O. And we'll see how that works. If I need to go to a thinner one, I will. But for the flesh outline. All right. So flesh that comes in front of fabric will be outlined. Flesh that is behind, like for instance, right here, this is behind his collar, behind the front collar. That will not be outlined. But this side will be uh, the top of his head, but not the hair. The outline of the ears will put uh, a little bit uh, right here under the eyes. Okay. We'll outline the nose. We will outline the lips uh, here and the hands then. That looks really, really bright. I 
I'm not sure I like that. It just seems very bright. I think I'm going to take that off. crazy about that color. Let's put a tiny bit of uh, Indian Red Oxide with that, maybe. Let's see what we get. Darken that down. Just, just to kind of take that brightness out of there. I think that might be a better better color. It's a little bit darker. Alright, let's try that. So I just mixed a little bit of Indian Red Oxide with my Red Earth. And we'll try this again. Remember, you always want to dampen your brush before you go in and pick up your paint. That's a better color. It's not quite so stark. Much better, I think. Now, let's put a line right under the eye. Just like that. All right. And generally, I just eyeball it. I want, I know that I want a quarter of an inch and I really kind of just place my little finger here and hold it and then I kind of slide it down. Uh, if you feel like you want to take some tape and tape it off, certainly do that. on one end, a little fat around the other, didn't I?
This is a little thick down here. I'm just taking a damp brush and I'm just going to push that back a little bit. It's not wet, it's just damp. I'm just pushing that edge back with my damp brush. And I pretty much like that. I do have about two to three coats. I'm going to say uh, two coats total on the border. Uh, and then I just did a few touch up areas that looked a little bit thin. But it's not perfect. It's not, but it's it's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. If you wanted to, if you eyeballed it and you're still not happy with it, you can always take the ruling pen, place your ruler and then go down and make a nice straight line uh, with that uh, Indian red oxide. All right, um, I think I will do St. Francis now and I'm going to use my halo red. And let's put a little bit of flow medium in here. And we are going to be using our liner brush. Again, the one I pulled out for this is 2 slash 0. Alright. And we'll just start laying in our... I'm going to tip this up just a tiny bit here so I can, so I can get a little closer but you can still see. Hopefully that works for you.
taking this out and putting this in. Fill that, and we'll do this. Put that in our hole here. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Pretty good. I'm going to go out just a tiny bit. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to have to stand up for this part. as we can. Except for that one huge blob, it did pretty good. Okay, we got that done. Now we're going to let that dry, and then we're going to come in and we'll do um, our inner border, which is uh, going to be the Naples yellow hue, and that we're going to be doing just with this pen, the ruling pen. So I'll need the handle. Get that set up. Now, this is where we're going to be using tape. Taking the flat edge, placing it right on the line there. Right on the line here. Same with this tape, placing the flat edge. You can see all, all I did was I just tore it in half. It's thick painter's tape, but we're using the flat edge. Not the torn edge. That yeah, makes sense, right? Okay, here we go. All right, so we'll need a ruler, and then we're doing these lines here. Cork-backed ruler, very important, so that the edge is not the edge is not touching 
our icon, the board, or canvas, whichever one you're painting from. You know what? I'm, I'm washing that out because it looked to me like, when I looked at it, it looked like it still had a little bit of red. And I do not want any red. All right, got rid of that. Okay, let's start again. Pick up our... I thought I had that washed out, but I did not. Okay. We'll clean that off the top, clean off the bottom, okay, it looks good, we have that down, and then we're going to start on the tape and pull. Don't have to press hard, and you don't have to go really fast. Now, pull it up, and I did blob it, I thought I did. Okay. Clean that off, place it down right next to the line, let's fill this again, okay, clean off the top, clean off the bottom, just use your finger. Coming over here and starting, and you just kind of have to go, just go with it, keep going all the way off, it looks like we had a great line there too. Cleaning that paint out, all right, and then we will lift our tape and we will save it because we're going to use it once this is dry we'll come back and use it to tape this part off so we're ready to do our top and bottom lines so remember what we're going to do is we'll take the flat part and we're going to place it right here along these lines because we're going side to side.
what I'm going to do is come down here and fill in right next to that line. You can see there's just a couple of little spots right there in the brown that I didn't get. And we actually used some burnt umber there. And I'm just going to fill that in very carefully. I should probably wait till it dries. Otherwise, we're going to have a big mess. So, let's go in and we will even out our corners there. And just take a little bit of that yellow. And we're just going to come down and Make that square and we'll take this and square it off. And actually, I'm going to make that just a little bit darker right there. Okay. And I'm going to come right here and I want to make this a little bit darker right here. Very nice. All right. Well, there you have it. Our icon is complete except that we once this is dry uh, then I'm going to fill in these small areas here at the bottom right here you can see where I had to come down I kind of got the brown down past the border so I had to pull that line a little bit down so what I'll do is I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to add just a little bit then of this brown and fill that in once that's done then I'm going to show you how to varnish this and finish your icon uh, so that it's protected against the elements. So um, we want to put the stigmata in here. We outlined the flesh and I got all done and then I realized I did not put the, his stigmata on his hands. So what I'm going to do is use a little bit of the Indian Red Oxide. And that'll be my base layer. It's about right in here. And what I'm doing, I'm just going to make like an irregular shape here. And also on this hand. And I just took straight out of the bottle. I mean, I didn't... Okay. And I'm fine with that. I didn't use any liquid or anything else. Okay. And uh, paper towel. Now, on top of this Indian Red Oxide, then, I am going to use... Wipe my brush. And I'm going to use a little bit of Red Earth, I believe. Uh, and put right in the middle of that. I could use some alizarin crimson, but we'll just use the red earth and we'll see how we like it. I mean, I can always go back and adjust. Just wanted to make it a little brighter, just right on the inside. And I think that looks good. Alright, that's our stigmata.